I am Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question. We are considering area of a triangle and we have in circle a circle within a triangle and we'll see how their areas are related. The question here is determine the area of an equilateral triangle that encloses a circle of radius 2 cm as shown in the figure. So what we have here is an equilateral triangle, okay, so it's a special case where all the angles are equal, correct? So definitely these angles are 60 degrees and we have a circle right there in the center and the radius is 2 centimeters. That means if I join these two points, then the radius is 2 centimeters. That means from center to the edge where the side of the triangle forms a tangent line is two centimeters. Now what we also know, so so one thing we know is equilateral triangles, so equilateral triangle, that means each angle, let me name the triangle ABC, okay, so we have triangle ABC, so we have angle A equals to angle B equals to angle C, which is equal to 60 degrees, perfect. Now, since we have a circle within this triangle inscribed, so we also know that if I draw right bisectors of these angles, right? So if I draw right bisectors of these angles, they are going to intersect at the center of this triangle, right? So, <clears throat> so that is clear. So if I draw the right bisectors, they will intersect at the center of the triangle. That is actually you. That is the way you actually get the in circle, right? But now, let me extend this right bisector to the side AB, and as we can see from the symmetry, that will be altitude of the triangle also, correct? That is going to be the altitude of the triangle, perfect? So let me call this point as D for us. So this is D. So CD is the altitude, right? And we know R, the radius for the circle is 2 units. That means, let's say this is the center O. OD is 2 units for us. Okay, so that is OD is also 2. Perfect. Since all these angles are 60 degrees, half of that angle will be 30 degrees. Correct. So now, let us consider the triangle AOD. AOD. So in this triangle AOD, we know OD is equal to 2 centimeters. We also know that the angle OAD equals to 30 degrees, right? And it's a right triangle, so we know angle ODA is equal to 90 degrees. Perfect. So we have a right triangle. In this right triangle, now let me write 30 degrees for the half angle, that is this angle. Okay. <clears throat> we also know that since this is equilateral triangle, the right bisector is actually bisector of the angle also, and that is how we have, and we know that AD is equals to DB, right? So, so we know AD equals to DB. So let me write down that also. So we know AD equals to DB, okay. Now with all that, I think, let us now solve the triangle AOD and in this triangle, we can find AD using tan ratio, since we know opposite side to 30 degrees is, is 2. So now, let us solve this triangle to find uh, AD. So we'll first find AD, so we'll do it in two steps. First step is to solve the triangle AOD, and in that we say the ratio for tan 30 degrees is equals to OD, divided by AD. So we have AD equals to OD divided by tan of 30 degrees. OD is 2. 2 is the radius of the circle. So 2 divided by tan of 30 degrees. Let us use the calculator and divide 2 by tan of 30 degrees. That gives us 2 square root 3 as our answer. We'll keep 2 square root 3 exact value for the time being. So AD that is half of the base is 2 square root 3. Well we can write AB which is the base equals to 2 times 2 square root 3 or 
4 square root 3 is AB, right? Anyway, now to find the area, we need to find what CD is, right? So now let us find uh, CD. To find CD, let us consider the triangle ACD. ACD. Now in this triangle, again, let us use trigonometric ratio tan, correct? Angle is 60 degrees, the big angle, perfect. It's an equilateral triangle, correct? So we have tan of A, which is tan of 60 degrees, is equals to CD divided by AD. That means CD is equals to AD times tan of 60 degrees, correct? And AD is 2 square root 3. So we have 2 square root 3 times tan of 60 degrees. Let me write tan 60 degrees. Well, we could use special triangles to find this answer also. Let me make one here. Okay, let me make special triangle. It helps, right? It could make problem very, very simple to solve. Right, so this is 90, this is 60, this is 30 degrees, and the ratio is 1 to square root 3. Tan 60 is square root 3, perfect. So that gives us uh, AD as 2 square root 3 times tan 60, which is square root 3, perfect. So that gives us 2 times 3 as 6 as our answer, perfect. You could use calculator to get this answer also. So we know CD. Now we can find the area of triangle. So area of triangle ABC, ABC is equals to half of base, which is AB, times height, which is CD, which is equals to half of AB is 4 square root 3, and CD is 6, correct? So that gives us 12 square root 3. The units are? centimeter square right so centimeter square so that is how you can find area of your triangle i hope you understand and appreciate the steps so what we have applied here is that to make an in circle we need to do right by <coughs> sorry we need to find the point of intersection for the bisectors of the three angles right so wherever the three angles meet that becomes the center of in circle. Now, since we know that the radius is 2, and this is an equilateral triangle, a very special case, okay? It could be scalene triangle, but here we are considering equilateral triangle. So we know all the angles are 60 degrees, half of 60 is 30 degrees. So we apply tan ratio twice, got the required sides, half of base and the height, multiplied the two, applied the formula and got the answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.